Hello, Didgeridoo players of the world. Today we are going to expand and explore a Didgeridoo rhythm we did a few months ago. Now, in that video, I gave you homework and I got exactly zero homeworks handed in. So I'm thinking maybe it was too hard for you or you're just too shy. And I have a solution for both cases and that is that you give yourself two weeks to practice something and you practice at least half an hour a day. You can miss one day a week. You record your first and your last session. And two things should happen. Thing number one is that you will become much better and it will make you proud and you won't be as shy because you will see the progress and that progress is all that matters. And thing number two is the thing won't be as hard anymore as it was when you first time tried it. So that showing up is the key of your success, of your progress. You have to do it. It is not enough that you just watch the video or you just watch the video and try something for five minutes. You have to devote a little bit to it. If you're interested in playing like this, but it feels hard, but especially if you feel interested, and maybe if it feels hard, maybe you could consider coming to the Jiu-Jitsu Masterclass, where all these uh, things will be presented very systematically, and you will build a foundation upon which everything presented in this video will be much, much easier. All right, with that in mind, let's see what's on the menu today. To remind you of the beat, it was very simple. It was this double push and a pull beat repeated four times in a bar. And there was a question mark on the third bar, which could be something else than the original beat. The original beat you can remember as this, how do I know this? How do I know this? Where how do I is on the tooth? And the know this is that double push or an extended push. It sounds like this on a didgeridoo. If you haven't seen that video, please go and check the video. And if you don't remember what it was all about, please go and check it again. All right, now we are going to see what we can do on that beat number three. So my first proposition is, let's just change the order. So in, instead of playing, we make the third beat, and that will reorder the energy inside the bar. So if we put our metronome to 90 BPM, it sounds like this. That should be the easiest possible variation of this bar. So maybe you want something more. Now let's check that um, beat dum dum tadawa. And instead of that tadawa, let's make takawaka. So another very simple change. Now that takawaka can stay on the tooth or it can be on the drone. Normally, I would say that the drone version is easier to play, but because you have already the system with go which goes drone to toot, I would say the toot is easier to play in this instance, and I will alternate between the two variations, okay? So I will either play doom doom takawaka where takawaka is on the toot, or doom doom takawaka where uh, takawaka is on the drone. Sounds like this. So that should be rather simple progression, especially 
after you have uh, inversed the beat, the third beat, changing the toot and the drone part. Now let's do another variation. So there is a popular didgeridoo pattern which goes tawaka tawaka tawa, right? It is one two three one two three one. You hear it played all the time. Can we maybe put that in? Can we substitute the third beat with tawaka tawaka tawa? Yes, I think we can. So let's try to do it again on the toot and on the beat or and on the drone. And what is interesting here is how will you map? that duration of Tawaka so that it fits into one beat. And actually Takawaka already showed you that, you know. Takawaka already fit that um, type of articulation inside the beat. So fitting Tawaka, Tawaka, Tawa should be fairly simple, especially once after you hear it. Again, I will play it on the toot and on the drone tooth version might be easier in this instance. I propose glitching the matrix a little bit. So by that, I mean, let's contract. Let's make a contract with a contraction, which puts that ta -dum -dum -dum, which could come be counted as eight into seven. So we will um, reduce the duration of this two part of the first part of the beat. Okay. And Let's play it first separately to feel what it feels like and then let's uh, put it next to, to the 8 and then let's put it into the beat, okay? So it's ta dum dum di ta dum dum di ta dum dum di ta dum dum di where the other is ta dum dum di ta dum dum di ta dum dum di ta dum dum di when you put them together it is ta dum dum di 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 so that seven has a shorter tooth part this is what they sound like together on on the ditch you can play that on a metronome but you need to program it so here you would have to put a 15 beat bar and mark the beats for the 8 and the mark the beats for the 7 and now i will play it in the whole bar and the whole bar, if you play it on a metronome, should be 31 beat long and you program 8, 8, 7, 8 beats. But you can also go by feeling. So notice how the, the beat breathes now and notice how that contraction makes it tense in a way, okay, which is, which might be good. another realm for you to explore. 
and it brings many good and interesting stuff. If you want fast forward into the future, and I know you want, this is how you can think of uh, when you're expanding the beat, when you're expanding the rhythm. So you can say now we have eight, eight, seven, eight. Let's inverse that. Let's have seven, seven, eight, seven. Now let's take the eight as an, a phrasing from the previous video. Tadga waka waka waka. And let's put that a little bit intricate design of the beat inside of that a bar. So you have this decoration at the position number eight, you know, a flower. And then let's drag everything down to the condensed drone and slowly let the bass drip in. Let's use multiple toots on the pole and let's use voice so we create some parallel playing um, game there and let's see how that works okay and of course if we want we can even speed it up a little bit just so that we don't spend so much time playing one bar okay ready you're you're in for the game it goes like this Mm-hmm. <laughs>